Even though the new campaign is focused on Milwaukee's long term future, there are still plenty of events happening this weekend. And joining us now is Emily Tao from Visit Milwaukee. Emily, thank you as always for being here. Thanks for having me. So let's go ahead and start talking about the uh, gallery night that's taking place. Yeah, Gallery Night MKE is back for 2021. We are so excited to have this event back in our city. So tonight and tomorrow night, you can experience our city's incredible and incredibly vast creative culture while you pop into local galleries, dine at some of the city's favorite restaurants, shop in our boutiques, and you can even buy some original art from Milwaukee artists. Um, as always, Gallery Night is completely free to the public, and you'll find a bulk of the galleries in the Third Ward, Walker's Point, and East Town neighborhoods, but there are some great gems outside those neighborhoods, too, like the Warehouse in the Menominee Valley. So I know that I'm personally really excited to head over to the Fister, check out their artist in residence, Nikolai Koslo, and their beautiful, super colorful paintings. And you can find a list of all of the galleries that are uh, participating at gallerynightmke.com. Yeah, and at the same time, it's Friday night, it's spring. Let's talk a little bit about the beer gardens that are opening up. Yes, beer garden season is my favorite season in this city. They just come alive when that weather warms up. And I'm so excited right now because so many of our incredible beer gardens are already starting to open up or have released their opening dates. So right now, today, you can head over to South Shore Beer Garden, which just opened on 414 Day this past Wednesday. Um, the Beer Garden at the Deer District, Hubbard Park Beer Garden, and Estabrook Park Beer Garden are all open currently. And the rest of the beer gardens are looking for dates in early May to reopen their doors. And the Traveling Beer Garden also released their schedule. They're going to be kicking off mid-May. And so beer gardens, get outside, grab a pint with your friends, that fresh air, warm sunshine, and socially distant way. Yeah, I can never have too much fun at the beer gardens, right? Uh, we also have the first Maker's Market of the season. Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. This is such a favorite event for Milwaukeeans. So they're kicking off their 2021 season this Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. over at Kind Oasis on Milwaukee's east side. So you can shop from over 20 local Milwaukee makers like Raising Good MKE, who have some Wisconsin themed apparel, Big White Yeti, you know, those super popular candles in our city, or for the love of Drax to pick up something a little special for your four legged fuzzy friends. And um, they also have farm to truck food truck heirloom MKE on site if you need a little shopping break for some snacks or sandwiches. So head over there on Sunday. Great. And Emily, before we let you go, let's look ahead to next week. We know Earth Day is coming up. How can people get involved with that? Yeah, not only is Earth Day next Thursday, the 22nd, but next week is also National Volunteer Appreciation Week. So these overlapping is just the perfect opportunity to get outside, volunteer to give back to the city, clean up our planet. And there are quite a few events that are going on. Um, tomorrow, the West Town Association is hosting their Team Up to Clean Up event. And you can register on their website if you want to join that. I know the Visit Milwaukee crew is going to be out there in the morning um, with rubber gloves on, ready to pick up some trash. Um, the Urban Ecology Center's Earth Day of Service will be on April 23rd with volunteer opportunities starting at 9 a.m. at all of their locations. And then next Saturday, the Milwaukee River Keepers are hosting their huge annual spring cleanup. Um, this usually brings in about 4,000 volunteers out to all 68 locations along the Milwaukee River to get that cleaned up and ready for the summer season. And following that cleanup, you can head over to Rock the Green's 10th annual virtual Earth Day celebration featuring some music by local artist Trapper Shep. Lots of good happening there. Emily, thank you so much for being here. For more information about the events we just told you about, head to our website, tmj4.com links.